According to the World Health Organization, WHO, alcohol, tobacco and illicit drug use are among major global risk factors for disability and premature loss of life. The organization also revealed in its report that drug abuse among secondary school students can be accompanied by health failure, poor grades, law enforcement issues and cause potential harm to their fellow colleagues. To help tackle drug abuse, a set of alumni took the advocacy against drug abuse and the use of illegal substances to government-owned schools in Lagos. The alumni set had members of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency Agency and the LEA on the advocacy train to enlighten the students on the negative effects of drug abuse on their education. Educating students about the menace, the Deputy Commander Narcotics and the LEA Lagos State, Titi Lokwe Ogunloye revealed that the exposure to drug and alcohol abuse early in life has exposed numerous school aged children to voluntary drug consumption, smoking, drinking, and substance abuse, noting that the trend has become a threat to nation building. Ogunloye therefore preferred a solution to those that are already involved in the abuse as she warned them to stay away from drug abuse. We have passed the message down. It's a gospel that we are preaching and we've asked people that they've had now. So they you should be what? Be a peer influencer. That means they have to educate whoever that come across their way about the effect of drug abuse. What can they do? For example, if you're already into it or you are not into it, what can they do? what can, can you do so that you cannot be what because they say prevention is better than cure. But for adventure, you're already involved. The most important thing is you must have somebody they can share with. You know, they say a problem that's already shared is already have solved. So you need to contact the experts so that they what they'll be able to see you through. If you are thinking on your own, I can manage it, I can manage it, it's like a it's like a cancer. If you detect it early enough, it can be what? there can be solution but by the time it has eaten deep and deep and deep like that it's my virtually list to death so that's why we encourage people to come out uh, drug use is not is not a, it's not a death sentence and it's not as if it's a, it's a way you are wayward or you lack um uh, ability to be able to control yourself it's a sickness that we say it's a chronic brain laughing sickness so the earlier you come out and say okay i have this challenge the better and then daily we are there to give you the necessary assistance. Speaking with Access 24, the president of the Solo Comprehensive High School, alumni set of 1993, Andeyemi Olanianu urged the federal government to intensify sensitization in secondary schools so as to curb the menace of drug abuse among students in Nigeria. The president encouraged school children who are already abusing drugs to speak up and desist from the habit. The children are the future of Nigeria. So federal government needs to do more of this. They need to reach out. Drug is a... We have a drug crisis in Nigeria now. Um, there's an urgent need for the government of Nigeria to have a much plan on how to reduce the impact of drugs amongst our youth. It's destroying our youth. We need massive effort from the government to curtail this menace called drug. It's really killing our youth. So my appeal is to the federal government of Nigeria, the Lagos State government, to come up with proper plans to help arrest this menace. Reacting to the sensitization program, some of the students talked about how happy they were to have been educated about the social vices as they encouraged their colleagues to abstain from the abuse of drugs. We've been enlightened about the dangers of drug abuse and also the symptoms and the ways to eradicate it. So I encourage each and everyone around that we should abstain from drugs. We are enlightened to abstain from drug abuse and here today I'm trying to enlighten my fellow students that we should abstain from drug abuse and not to take drugs. We are enlightened about drug abuse by the NDLA and they told us they discuss about the effects, causes and symptoms of drug abuse and they also tell us the definition of drug So today I would like to encourage you guys that you should abstain away from drug abuse. Access 24 correspondent Deji Ogunshala reports that NDLEA listed caffeine, analgesics, anti-malaria, antibiotics, hypnosedatives, alcohol, tobacco, organic solvents, cannabis and heroin to be among the trend of drugs abused by school pupils in Nigeria.